why is there re-rod in the concrete when we shoot a gunite sunshelf or a, uh, a spa? And there's always this wonder. People just have this idea of, well, why do you have to put the steel in there? What does it really do? Well, if you look at concrete, concrete has really good compressive strength, meaning you can't squish it. It, it resists being squished, but it's brittle in terms of what's called tensile strength. If you span across a distance, you could push down on the concrete and snap it really easily. So it has compressive strength where it won't, won't crush on itself, but it doesn't have tensile flexing strength. Well, the opposite is true with steel, with the re-rod. It has very good tensile strength. If you hang it between two things and push down in the middle, it can flex and it won't snap. But if you go to try to squish it, it flattens out real easy. So it has very little compression strength, but a lot of tensile strength. So when you blend the two of them together, you get high tensile strength and high compressive strength at the same time. So that's what we were doing here today was we were tying the re-rod shell so that we can add the sun shelf and the waterfall to our hybrid project, which again is half vinyl liner and half gunite. So the rebar creates the tensile strength in the structure and the concrete that we place over the rebar gives it the compressive strength. So when you add the two of those together, that's when you get uh, a really strong material.